Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, by now, either through my video or somewhere else on the internet, you've probably seen that there is a secret weapon in Halo Infinite, which after doing a few steps to uh, activate the orbital strike, you can actually pick up this invisible tank cannon uh, on top of this turret here. And it is very powerful. It's unlimited and it fires scorpion tank rounds. And it's just, it just beats enemies so easily, even on legendary difficulty. So we're going to go through all the bosses and see how easy it is. Now, of course, there's a spoiler warning here because I'll be showing all the bosses after this point. So be warned. All right. So the first boss is Chacklock, which took me less than 20 seconds to beat him. So here we are. Here's Chacklock. And I mean, I could have probably done it in less than 15 seconds if I just rushed him. But, uh... Yeah, there he is, just gotta keep shooting him, dodge his attacks, and make sure to like hit him with every shot, and then he'll never he'll never get you. And there you go. Less than 20 seconds, and this is on legendary difficulty. Bassus, which a lot of people say is like one of the hardest bosses in the game, takes less than 15 seconds to beat on legendary difficulty. And I even missed a couple shots. So I think I possibly could have done it in less than 10 seconds against Bassus. So yeah, there you go. It, it seems like it only takes like maybe two direct hits to kill him possibly three but as you saw i missed a couple shots and some of it might have been splash damage but i definitely could have done better on that one now next one is the first monitor fight and this one's actually really easy so you know he has like those glowing lights that you gotta shoot uh if you don't even need to aim directly for them the splash damage is enough to to destroy like all of them at once and i didn't actually know that this first time playing uh doing this so I kind of aimed for each one individually at first before I realized I could destroy all of them at once. So once again, this is another one where I probably could have done it even quicker than, than the time I had here. But again, also like a very easy one, less than 30 seconds. Uh, and with Hyperius, technically this is like two bosses at once, but I'm going to do each one individually. So with Hyperius himself, as soon as I got to him and saw him, it took me less than 20 seconds to destroy him and his chopper. Um, I missed that shot there. There's something in the way, like a piece of debris, and I missed that one there too. So again, this is another one where I probably could have done it a lot better if I had missed if I hit every shot. Now here, Tavoris. It took me less than 60 seconds overall, but this one you, you could you could tell and you know that Tavoris could have easily been beaten in like 10, 15 seconds. But the reason why it took me almost a minute is because, you know, I, I, I did not want to, like, really charge him. Because there's too many enemies out there. And Tavoris, like, once he takes, like, a, a hit or two, he just, he just runs and hides. <laughs> and it, it's, like, it's, like, hard to hit him from, from where he's hiding. So I pretty much had to wait for him to, like, peek his head out. Uh, and every now and then there were some, like, interruptions from enemies. Like this grunt here that took my ghost and tried to kill me with it. So, yeah, all these interruptions and Tavoris just hiding or like running away, it, it made it take a lot, a lot longer than it should have. But if I did the strategy a little bit differently, I easily could have been 10 to 15 seconds. Now, the second monitor boss fight, just as easy. Uh, just don't shoot him too early like I did there. I wasted a shot and probably lost a little bit of time. But once again, there we go. <laughs> Uh, the, the first like impact that did damage to him took out like 80% of his health and after that it was just a matter of waiting for him to um, become vulnerable again and of course avoid his sentinels because they can still get you so yeah just uh, again easy one takes <laughs> less than 30 seconds could have been probably a little bit quicker could have done like maybe one or two shots less but yeah that's what I got now, Jaeger, the Blade Master, also less than 30 seconds. <laughs> As you can see, we are breezing through these boss fights. And really, all of Legendary was a breeze with this tank cannon. Because you can carry it through the entire campaign, as you can tell. Uh, but yeah, with Jaeger, you do need to dodge him a little bit. Because if you just try to like stand still and blast him at the beginning, he has enough health to like break through your shots and kill you in one hit. So you gotta move a little bit, and then... Uh, he might hide for a minute to recharge his shields, but once he charges you again, that's your opportunity to kill him. And again, 
less than 30 seconds and probably could have been done a little bit more efficiently than I did so yeah now a sherem I put less than 30 less than 60 seconds to the question mark uh, for a couple reasons first of all I, I don't count like the mini objectives like destroying those generators as like the actual time spent fighting a sherem himself once his shields are you know down then the actual time to actually kill him is less than 60 seconds of like actual combat time against a Sherem. Now, the reason I put a question mark is because I screwed up a little bit and I so I recorded most of this fight with him, but for some reason I I think the footage cut out at the end and I did not get footage of like actually killing him. But I'm still estimating at less than 60 seconds because of how easy it is and you can see how quickly it's going. So like I can extrapolate that it's going to be less than 60 seconds. Uh, just a little, a little bonus here for this next one is these two hunters, CRZ, these two red hunters, which are actually quite challenging in a small room like this. But with the tank cannon, very easy. Less than 30 seconds. Less than 20 seconds, I think, actually. Uh, if, you know, if you're quicker. But yeah, there we go. And finally, last but not least, the Harbinger without all the you know side mini objectives and all the enemies you gotta kill the actual combat time against the harbinger herself less than 60 seconds and this one i did make sure to uh, to get the ending unlike with uh Sherem. but don't worry i assure you there's plenty of teabagging on the Sherem after beating him but yeah so with the harbinger once again easy peasy just uh just gotta get your hits in, and you know it's not too hard to get your hits in. Even though she does teleport a lot, you'll you'll get it eventually. And she 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 stops after a little bit, and that's usually your opportunity to like get your hits in. But yeah, actual like I said, actual combat time of, of the uh, against the Harbinger directly, you know, ignoring all the uh, distractions and all the enemies, less than sixty seconds. So there you guys have it. Almost every boss on legendary difficulty and probably even lasso difficulty in Halo Infinite can be beaten using this tank cannon in 30 seconds or less. There are a couple bosses like a Sherem and the Harbinger which take a little bit longer and probably even longer if you count the side objectives but overall legendary is super easy using the tank cannon so I definitely highly recommend you use it. But yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like, leave a thoughts and comments and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!